The market's price action moves against the main trend in an attempt to prevent it from developing only impulse waves. It's a natural process that needs to occur in order for a continuation to take place. This process is called correction and resistance from the dominant trend prevents it from developing motive structures, hence the reason why corrections are not making progress which would impact the destined direction. Corrections represent the struggle and conflict between the two opposite sides and trending degrees of larger scale. The conflict between these two sides is the reason why correctives are less clearly identifiable than motive waves and also the reason why they are much more varied in their structures. Corrections increase and decrease in their complexity as they unfold and this is precisely why aleaticians sometimes find it difficult to fit them into recognizable patterns. This is because the termination points of corrective waves are less predictable than motive waves. Even so, a trader's main goal is to gain on impulses. That is why, when using the Elliott wave technique, mapping, reading and labeling correctly a corrective structure is an undeniable requirement for successful trading, so that the next impulse could be anticipated. The analyst practicing the Elliott wave method is aware that, when the market is in its corrective stages, more caution is implied along with patience. This is due to the fact that there are multiple possibilities in which a correction can unfold its structure. There's good news as well. Just like motive waves, corrections also imply their own rules and guidelines. The single and most valuable rule is that an entire corrective structure is never formed out of five impulses. Only motive waves are formed out of five impulses. That is why motive waves are called fives and correctives are called frees. As an example, if a fifth wave from an impulse ends and it's followed by a wave which contains five moves within a lower degree, then that wave cannot represent the entire correction, but only the start of it and just one piece from the total of three. Unlike motive waves, corrective patterns are labeled with letters in order for the pattern to be distinguished. Correctives can present themselves either as a sharp correction or as a sideways correction, complex. Due to the law of alternation, it is known that within one larger degree wave, corrective legs usually balance each other in the sense that if one is sharp, then the next would be a sideways move. For example, if corrective wave two is sharp, zigzag, then corrective four would unfold sideways, flat, triangle, combination. Corrective structures fit into three main patterns, zigzag, flat, and triangle. Combinations of the above form complex structures and they fit into two patterns, double and triple freeze. Corrective structures are labeled with letters. Zigzag and flats are labeled with A, B, and C. Triangles are labeled with A, B, C, D, E. Double threes are labeled with W, X, Y. Triple threes are labeled with W, X, Y, X, Z. The zigzag is the most common Elliott wave structure which always presents a 5-3-5 sequence with wave B not presenting a considerable retracement. Wave C often equals wave A in its length, hence the reason why it extends beyond the end of wave A. It is known that zigzags occur twice or even three times forming combinations. Such combinations are called double and triple zigzags. Characteristics 5-3-5 sequence with wave A and wave C acting as impulses. Wave B can only present a corrective pattern, A3. Wave A is an impulse or a leading diagonal. Wave B never travels beyond the start of wave A and its default measurements are either 38.2 or 50% Fibonacci retracements of wave A. Wave C is an impulse or an ending diagonal and it usually measures 100 or 161.8 Fibonacci extensions of wave A and wave B. The zigzag appears mostly in wave 2, but because it's very common, it can appear in any type of corrective swing due to the fact that it is considered as a bridge between combinations. Tip. Traders often draw a parallel channel from the start of wave A towards the start of wave C, the end of wave B, in order to determine the end of wave C. 
In these images, you may find some examples on how a zigzag can act as a bridge and change a structure from simple towards a complex one. The flat is the second most common pattern and it always shows a 3-3-5 sequence because it lacks sufficient force. Hence the reason why wave B shows a more powerful retracement, terminating at or slightly beyond the start of wave A. It is well known for its sideways movements and can also act as the bridge for combinations. Flats tend to appear before or after periods which involve an extension, most commonly in a wave 4. They come in three forms, regular, expanded or irregular, and running flat. During this type of correction, the dominant trend shows considerable retracement. Therefore, flats are well known for their fake breakouts caused by wave B, which in turn cause exaggerated or even limited wave C reactions depending on its form. Simple or regular flat characteristics. 335 sequence with wave A acting as the border. Wave A and wave B always show free swings. Wave B retraces between 78.6 and 100% of wave A. Wave C is an impulse or an ending diagonal and it usually finds its end at or slightly beyond the end of wave A. Appearance alternates between waves 2 and 4 and very common in a wave B. Wave C usually measures 100% Fibonacci extensions of wave A and B. Expanding or irregular flat characteristics. 335 sequence with wave B acting as the fake breakout. Waves A and B always show free swings. Wave B travels beyond the start of wave A, usually between 100 and 138.2%. Wave C is an impulse or an ending diagonal and it always finds its end beyond the end of wave A. Appearance alternates between waves 2 and 4 and very common in a wave B. Wave C usually measures around 138.2 or 161.8 Fibonacci extensions of waves A and B. Running flat characteristics 335 sequence with wave C acting as the limited impulse. Waves A and B always show free swings. Wave B travels beyond the start of wave A, usually between 100 and 138.2 percent. Wave C is an impulse or an ending diagonal and it does not travel beyond the end of wave A. Appearance alternates between waves 2 and 4 and very common in wave B. Wave C usually measures around 100% Fibonacci extensions of waves A and B. Flat corrections, as mentioned earlier, just like zigzags, they are considered as a bridge for combinations, also called complex structures. Here are some examples before we go further into combinations. A triangle reflects the balance of forces, this being the reason for its sideways movements and decreasing volumes or volatility during its shelf life. A triangle is also a sign of a sustained swing which is awaiting its turn. It contains five overlapping waves which subdivide as a free 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 structure and are labeled as A, B, C, D, E, which in turn subdivide as zigzags or flats. A triangle is noticeable by connecting the termination points of wave A with C and B with D, with wave E well known to overshoot the AC connection line. Most of the times its lines are converging except for the expanding triangle where the lines are diverging. Triangles come in three types, contracting, barrier and expanding. Triangles are located in a wave 4 of an impulse, wave B of an ABC corrective, wave X in a double free, wave Y in a triple free. A very important rule and guideline when counting waves is that triangles do not form in a wave 2 position and represents a continuation pattern for the dominant trend. Contracting triangle characteristics. Free, 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 free sequence with converging lines A with C and B with D. Upper line is declining, lower line is rising. Waves C and E never travel beyond the end of wave A. Most common type of triangle pattern, around 50% of all cases. 
barrier triangle characteristics. Free, 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 free sequence. Outer line flat and inner line pointing as a trend continuation. Waves C and E never travel beyond the end of wave A. Waves B and D end at the same level on a horizontal line. Forms moderately around 25 to 30 percent. Expanding triangle characteristics. Free, 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 free sequence with diverging lines. Upper line rising, lower line declining. Wave C travels beyond the end of wave A and wave D travels beyond the end of wave B. Wave E is the strongest swing and ends at the connecting diverging line of waves A and C. Its appearance is modest, around 20 to 25 percent of all cases. It is extremely common for a wave B of a contracting triangle to exceed the start of wave A and to show a fake breakout. This structure is called the running triangle and it appears on the charts frequently. Running triangle characteristics. Free, 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 free sequence with converging lines. A with C and B with D. Wave B travels beyond the start of wave A. Upper line is declining, lower line is rising. Waves C and E never travel beyond the end of wave A. Most common among contracting triangles. Ralph Nelson Elliott intelligently referred to these extended sideways corrections as double and triple threes. Combinations are composed of corrective patterns such as zigzags, flats and triangles which are linked through a bridge, wave X. This bridge acts as an interruption or separation and as a corrective upon a corrective pattern, hence the reason for its famously known fake breakouts or temporary indecisions of the market. These complex structures require advanced pattern recognition. Combinations are labeled with letters WXY in a double free and with WXYXZ in a triple free. In a complex structure, the final leg would always act as the decisive piece. Therefore, a triangle is an allowable final component located in wave Y in a double free or in wave Z in a triple free. Combinations or complex structures characteristics. 335 or 33335 sequence with each leg acting as a pattern. Wave W is always a free, zigzag or flat. Wave X is correcting a correction and sometimes takes a triangle form in a double free. Wave X usually takes a zigzag or flat form in a triple free. Wave Y is often a free but could also appear as a triangle in a double free. Wave Z is usually a triangle in a triple free. Combinations appear mostly at key levels such as tops and bottoms or after sustained extensions and they also represent signs of decisive upcoming swings. Combinations usually form in a wave 4 position and very rarely in a wave 2 position. Triangles in double or triple freeze act as final pieces for the structure. Any corrective pattern can participate in a double or triple free structure. Triple free structures would rarely form. Tip. After a free, if the next swing would fit as too small and would unfold in a shorter amount of time to be considered as the entire swing, it's possible that a combination would take place. Here are some examples of double and triple free structures.